welcome to a Tobinitz Vlogmas Day 10. How's everybody doing? Have you got your cup of tea? Are you all set? Okay, good. If you're new to my channel, that's the first thing you need when you sit down to watch is a cup of tea. And we need to get comfy. Um, typically, Mondays I talk about knitting, Wednesdays is cross stitch, and Fridays is quilting. But during the whole month of December, I am doing a Vlogmas where you get bits of everything. <laughs> um, but I have to say it's mostly knitting because I'm crazy mad about Advent projects right now. So, and I have two Advents to open. So let's start with the first one. This one is one that um, I made myself. Um, I am knitting up Ellie from Craft House Magic's newest Advent uh, project this year, which is a fabulous cowl called the Soundwave Cowl. I will leave a link to it. And um, I have been collecting her mixtape minis since the start of the year. Um, every month I get five new ones and they're all in a little different colorway. And so some of them I've been knitting up into a mitered square blanket and a triangulum blanket and the leftover went into either socks or cowls or stuff like that. But by about April or May, I stopped um, making things with them so that I could put them into this advent because she always puts an advent project out. So, you know, so anyway, let's see what today's color is. What I did was I put them all in these bags and I got my husband to label them for me. So I have no idea what colors they are. And today's color is purple. I love purple. So it's actually a, like a pinky purple color with a spot. It actually, yeah, look at that. It's, I don't know if you can see that with the light. It's like three different color purples. A very pale purple, a darker purple, pur purple and then a, uh, like a strawberry purple. Very nice. I like that a lot. So let's see what she's named it. She names them all after songs. This one is called Feels Like I'm Falling in Love by Kelly Marie. Now, I feel like I should know that song, but I don't. Off the top of my head, I can't think of it. But anyway, this was from the August 22 uh, mixtape minis. So I'm saving all the names so that when I get finished putting it into my advent project, what's left, because there is leftovers, um, will go into then the black triangle and blanket and the um, mitre square blanket, which I think I'm not going to make it into a blanket. I think I'm going to make it a cushion. Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears did that. She uh, made hers into a cushion. And I thought, wow, I really like that. And it's not so big and forever, taking forever to knit. So I might do that. Stay tuned. The other thing that I have is um, an advent from... Um, a quilt shop that's local to me and it's called the Water Girl Quilts. It's in Prescott, Ontario because yes I am in Canada and oh, I've started to open it. I haven't even finished telling you and um, they wanted to put together a um, quilting box similar to the Missouri Star quilt box um, for Canadians and uh, with Canadian content which I think is amazing. Um, so this is day 10 Oh man, I love this stuff. This is the Acorn Seam Align Glue. I love this. I have one, um, but I use it quite a lot, so it's nice to have two. Um, and I use this for when I'm making um, half square triangles. Well, maybe not so much half square triangles, flying geese maybe, or, you know, like I think they call it snowballing or flip and turn maybe where you have a smaller little square that you put on the corner of a bigger square and you sew diagonally and then you cut off the remainder so that it helps you round a corner or make a shape so um, I use that for that purpose because what you do is um, 
it uh, it will hold your so instead of pinning basically you can add this little dabs of this on the corner and then take it to your machine and then sew on your line and then you cut off that piece which has got the glue on so it's you know it's perfect I love this thank you Ooh, my favorite stuff so yeah I don't really have a lot for you today this is much shorter than yesterday's marathon uh, book of socks one <laughs> So I'm just gonna show you where I'm up to on my advent knits. Oh, and I did finish the baby blanket, which I needed for Sunday. So woohoo, there it is, finished. So it's just a straightforward, plain granny square. And it's just the way I color it with the same color pattern. I have made so many of these blankets for all my grandkids or my nieces and nephews children when they had babies it just has a little pico binding in the edge and um they whip up really quickly and they're super nice to make and they're it's it's fun so anyway that is all ready for my niece whose baby shower i'm going to on sunday and it's just a little blanket for in the pram uh stroller so that it keeps baby warm so that's that so that's that. good so then i'll show you the advents so the Soundwaves cowl which is from ellie of craft house magic is i'll do it this way for you so this was my day one and i did a provisional cast on because we're coming back around to um join here with a kitchen and stitch so it's not an over the head cowl it's one that goes all the way around and you can make it really long and then wrap it twice i think i'm just gonna do 12 or even 10 um so um but this is a gorgeous pattern and it's so easy they look like little wishbones <laughs> but actually it's, it's a sand wave um so that was day one that's day two which was this gorgeous, I love this. It's got like beige in it and a, a deeper blue. This was day three, which has got aquas in it. So I think I was here when you last saw it. I just maybe started on the aqua and then the gold is done. And I just started on the purple. What's well, a lilac color really. I don't know if the lilac and the purple go or the gold goes with the the lilac and the purple. The lilac and the gold go will go together or the gold and this blue will go together. But I do know on one of the other envelopes I opened, there is a gold and purple. So it might bring it back together. And the beautiful thing about this cowl is it does it like whatever way you wear it, you can have a different color in front of your neck each time. So it doesn't, I don't think it really matters, but I really wanted to just pull the colors and knit them as they came out and not sit there and try to fuss and figure out where I wanted it to go. But I am really loving this cowl. Isn't it nice? Honest to God, it's a really nice pattern and super easy to follow. Even a beginner knitter could do this, honestly. It's lovely. Looks complicated, but it's not. So that is the Sandwave cowl, and that's what I'm using the Advent Minis with. I'm also doing another Advent knit along with Kay Jones of the Bakery Bear, no relation, to Ellie. <clears throat> and she is she has a uh, this is for her patrons they do have a youtube channel which is amazing and every two weeks they put a video out which lasts about two hours it's like watching a bloody movie um but it's a lot of fun and uh, her and her husband dan and they both knit and he does a lot of uh um walking tour type things and takes you to abbeys and ruins and very history oriented intended and she also does cooking and stuff too so it's a it's a really cool podcast to watch um 
but they have a Patreon where you have to pay a little extra and you get um, extra videos all the time. And then there's this one, um, which is the advent that they do. And every day they open, well, they don't open. Well, they do actually open an advent, but every day they give you a different little video. Kind of like what I'm doing, but you have to pay for it. And she has got this fabulous, isn't that amazing? So this is going to be a Christmas stocking obviously not when you put on um and so we started day one with this lovely uh lacy top for the the top of the stocking and this latvian braid which i'd never done before so that was really interesting and it's only four rows so it's not like it was that hard and then we've got this which was she's explaining it to us is the snow falling down on london town and this, of course, it's color work and it's very easy color work. Like it was a four row, four stitch repeat. And then this is a little bit more, um, you know, complicated. Um, this is supposed to be London town. And we're going to repeat this whole thing here, these whole little houses, but they're going to be reflected. So they're like in the water of the Thames or something. So we, I'm about to do that. And, and then I think we do this again. I'm not sure, but I think. So, um, cause this was day one, day two, day three, and she's doing it like every other day. So I think the first one came out on, I feel like it was Saturday. I feel like, yeah. And then Monday, Wednesday so tomorrow will be another one something like that oh I don't even know what do I know go check it out but you can still join um and I think it's like seven dollars a month that I pay um and then at the end of the month you can just unsubscribe if you want to but you'll get the pattern <laughs> and all the fun so this is really nice I'm really enjoying this and uh I do enjoy, I do like color work. I don't do a lot of it. And this is all my floats inside. So you can see how we carry. And she's really good at giving you great tips and hints. For example, she says that she picks a dominant color. So in this case, it's the white. So anytime there's white or what, and you think this would be the dominant color, but she picks the white as a, the dominant color all the way through. And she will, when she's doing her next stitch, she lays the white on top, always has the white on top and the other color underneath as you're going to knit. So I tried that and I really like it. And it's helping to keep it all nice and flat and not pucker. So yeah, I really like it. It's coming on great. And uh, it's, it's a nice, and this is a double knit yarn so i'm using um stockcraft so yeah that's all i have for you today there's not much i'm sorry um just to catch up on the projects um i have to do some more sewing tonight so i might have that to show you tomorrow but um yeah that's it oh and of course football's on again tomorrow so i'll have to go watch that yeah mm. Hmm, yeah, lots of knitting time. <laughs> Good, I can catch up. <laughs> okay, I hope you have a fabulous day today and enjoy any advents you're unwrapping. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye.